My channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Alex and I'm a reseller online and I have a haul today so I thought I'd do it a little bit different I'm standing up um, and I think I mentioned in a couple videos or maybe like a video ago that I redid my <laughs> office so I have this new background I have uh, the clothing rack and I wanted to try and do like a di little different style so y'all can I guess see like the full item that I purchased at the thrift store. So I'm in the corner because this wallpaper is not on the full wall. So maybe I might buy some more so I can push all out a little bit, but we'll see how this goes. Um, let's just get into it. So I have quite a large haul. I went to, um, I think like a couple different thrift stores and a church garage sale but I'm gonna have to probably break it up because it's so large um, and I don't want this video to be super long. So these are the items that I have now. Um, so let's just get into it. I think, um, I think I took some of the price tags off of some of the items. So I'll try and remember the prices on some things. Some things are gonna be listed, some are not, but like I said in previous videos, if you're ever interested in anything, just um, check the description box down below. I have all of my stores linked, or you can um, send me a comment down below and let me know what you're interested in, and we can work something out. So um, first item I'm gonna show you all is going to be this little, uh, vintage purse um, it has no brand in it I don't even think it has like a material tag but I picked it up because I have been seeing like these little mini bags um, that cinch in like this um, go like trending for a little bit so I thought I'd give it a shot um, it has like this little beaded uh, strap well it has like this little beaded strap. Hopefully my camera's in focus. Um, and then it cinches in, like I said, right here in the middle. And it has like all of these um, like little mirrors and beads all throughout the bag. <clears throat> and I just thought it was very cute. And on the bottom, it's just like a circular um, bottom. And here is the inside, well, yeah, it's kind of hard to see but the inside is red and it's just like a satin material um, it has a few little uh, loose strings here that I'll just cut off but yeah I thought this was really cute I think it was like three dollars from a local thrift store <clears throat> so I got that the next accessory I guess we'll do accessories and shoes first since I don't think I have too many of them um, the next bag that I got was this Madewell bag it is I always forget the name it's like the transport bag transporters bag something like that but it's it's just the tote it's the brown tote and this time this one actually did come with the strap usually when I find these um, a lot of the times the strap is missing so that is good that this one came with the strap and here are the 
top handles it's kind of wonky um, it does need to be stuffed probably conditioned because the corners are a little bit on the drier side um, and it has the pocket on the front side and then the inside I know they make a couple of different styles of these but this interior is the raw leather interior and there is the price it was $5.99 which is a great price and it has an inside pocket so I have thrifted quite a few of these in the past and I just think I'm gonna keep this one because I do love the color and I've been wanting to get a, a bag in this color and considering this was only $5.99 I'll just go ahead and keep it um, I'm not sure if this strap can be crossbody or if it's just a shoulder strap but yeah I'm probably gonna use this for a little bit and keep it for myself <clears throat> The next item I have is this little vintage uh, leopard print skirt. Um, I do believe that this one, yeah, this one is a maxi skirt um, and it's double lined or it does have a lining underneath. And I just thought that this was so cute. Um, this one can go with, you know, like some Doc Martens, um, some sneakers. You can uh, do like a little band tee and tie it in the front or on the side, a little graphic tee. You can tuck it in. You can dress it up and do it with like sequins. I thought that this style was super cute. And I think I have another one. I couldn't decide if I'm going to keep this one or if I'm going to keep the other one. But I'm going to try them on to see which one I do like better. But um, this is by the brand Bechamel size medium and it's just 100% rayon. This one, I think I did get this one at the church garage sale. Now that church garage sale was huge. I brought my daughter and she was complaining about it the entire time. So I was trying to hurry up and look through the clothes because usually church garage sales um, are pretty cheap and they have a lot of vintage items. Um, and this one did not disappoint. The clothing range from one to three dollars shoes were about the same two dollars I didn't pick up any shoes though um, so I hope that some of the items I did get do sell pretty good um, I'm been on like this vintage kick recently I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of sellers who pick up all vintage and I just decided to try to look for the quirky pieces some of the pieces that could be styled up today um, <clears throat> I know a lot of these uh, newer brands, uh, even Target and Walmart are, you know, going back to like Y2K and uh, 90s and 80s and getting all of that type of inspiration. So that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, find pieces, take a chance. Usually these types of vintage items aren't that expensive at my thrift store. Um, sometimes they're a little priced high, but usually it's like the newer brands that are like outrageously priced. But anyway. Uh, let's just keep going so I picked up this little vintage shirt at that garage that church garage sale it is just a um, national zoo graphic shirt but I thought it was really cool it has the pandas on the front and it has it, them on the back and I love the color this one does have like a little blemish on one of the sleeves there's like a small hole somewhere over here but the brand is just what is this screen stars best and it is a size medium I thought this was super cute some of these pieces I might decide to take to my um, antique booth and I know I keep talking about it but I never do videos I just don't know <laughs> what to do so maybe I will price some of the things some of these things and take them to my antique booth and then just show y'all how I set it up and how it looks now um, maybe I'll just do like a short video on that or maybe even a shorts I don't know uh, next item oh and this like I said everything from the church garage that was like one to three dollars this was probably a dollar the skirt I think was like two dollars um, none of them had price tags they just had like a general pricing on the wall I picked up this little vintage um, vest it is like a burnt orangey reddish brown color and it has like a teal trim on the collar and the bottom and the sleeves i thought this was super cute not really my style not what i typically pick up or what i typically wear it is by the brand intuitions it's a size large and this one says it's hand loomed and it's just acrylic and nylon um, but I thought I've been seeing like on Pinterest people have been like layering these 
um, over like turtlenecks or like over um, just like regular t-shirts so I thought I would give this a shot and see how it did um, but my pictures are gonna be up on this wall so I do think things like this styled might sell better so I might try to style some of these things um, and take a picture I don't know just for the cover shot at least maybe this one is also from that church garage sale it is kind of like a burnt orangey color as well it's definitely more oversized um, and it does have like this argyle kind of um, print in it or on the front just in the same color so like no contrasting colors um, and this one is also vintage this is by uh, Joss a bank and this one is 80% um, lambs wool and nylon um, so I thought this one would be a great addition even if it wasn't vintage it's still lambs wool and it's super soft um, this one is super cute I could definitely see someone pairing it probably even with this skirt or maybe it might be too too oversized um, but yeah the colors would look great with it um, but I grab this one as well and I did pick up a couple of vests um, recently on my uh, trip to the garage sale and to the thrift stores and this is another one of them this is a Coldwater Creek vintage I do think a hundred percent leather vest um, this is a size large it has really cool embroidery like a Western um, boho fill it's black and it has like these little cutouts out details right there the only issue with this is that it has like some type of sticker residue right here it looks like maybe um, there was like a price tag or it could have been like a name tag or something that was stuck on there and then some of like the stickiness uh, didn't come off so this that might bring like the value down I didn't see that when I pick it when I picked it up I'm not sure how to take that off um, I did try to clean it um, with just some water but that didn't help and it has like this cool embroidery on it this would be super cute as well with some cowboy boots um, a skirt or even some jeans and I picked up this other vest same at the church garage so this is vintage notations um, I have seen this brand a lot in thrift stores and at garage sales boho westerny feel um, and I really do like this I just don't know on a hanger hung up against the wall if people will actually get like the inspo to like dress it up so another one of those pieces that might need to be dressed up but this one is just like a velvet uh, vest it has like this pattern on it at the bottom I'm not sure maybe like a floral type Aztec pattern and this really cute fringe um, so this wasn't too expensive and also I was going to mention but I completely forgot so I think I'm trying to move towards buying like as cheap as possible I don't have a bins here well I do but it's a little bit further out and I don't like to drive all the way out there by myself and um, so I don't really go there but I want to try to buy as cheap as possible so I can sell it for around like the 20 to $30 range because what I have what I have been noticing since um, <clears throat> since the economy that we're in today everything has gone up in price you know the cost of living has gone up so I feel like um, <clears throat> for some things that are like a hundred dollars um, resell <laughs> um, is just sitting and hasn't been selling as good as it once did you know a couple months prior or even a year or so ago and I have been noticing I have been selling things within like the 15 to like $35 range so I'm going to try to start picking up items as cheap as possible so I can sell it in between those ranges so I can try to sell um, more quantity versus like I don't want to say quality because all of these are great quality items but um, I want to try and sell more items for a little bit less of a price range instead of trying to sell high ticket items a couple items a week um, to get more money that way um, every business model 
not everyone does for reselling is different I just think I'm going to pivot towards this way just because um, like I said the cost of living is going up rent um, jobs aren't paying <laughs> that good so I just feel like that right now might be better um, for me and for my business model. I'm still going to be picking up, you know, items that probably can resell for 50 plus, but I'm going to also try and be focusing on items that I can sell, you know, 20, 25 dollars, so I can just uh, sell them quickly. Um, but anyway, let's continue with the with the haul. So the next item I picked up was this um, vintage. Andre Oliver pure cashmere sweater um, and it's a size large it's super super soft it has like um, I don't know necessarily if it's peeling but it does have like a little bit of fuzzies here uh, towards the bottom probably just from like rubbing up against uh, you know the arms rubbing up against the bottom on jeans whatever but I thought I looked over this and I didn't see any holes which is good because cashmere and wool are notorious for getting holes or mothballs but I thought this was a great holiday sweater um, and um, yeah it was only like a dollar I think or two dollars so um, people always used to say cashmere regardless the brand does sell well I did look up comps it's all it's in between the 20 and 30 dollar range so I think um, that's where I will price it um, <clears throat> I picked up this vintage Jennifer Moore I believe this is a pajama um, top so it is definitely oversized for a medium it is like this satin baby blue um, like a nightgown basically it's a button-up and definitely oversized to wear as a little um, dress it it probably comes to my knees and I'm like 5'5 five five. Um, but I thought that this look would be super cute wearing like out and about maybe not baby blue probably it would have been better if it was like black or like a different color but I'm still going to try to sell it as like a satin dress or mini dress or oversized uh, blouse I have been seeing like a lot of like the um, slip dresses uh, trending still and I thought this was a fun take on like the satin mini dresses but we'll see how this one does not sure um, and then I just picked up this uh, Lana Del Rey graphic shirt. If this was my size, I would keep it. But unfortunately, it is a small and it is just by the brand LDR. So I'm not sure where this was actually originally sold. Definitely modern. Um, so I do think that Lana Del Rey does have a following. This is not like a big ticket item for sure. Maybe like 15 to $20, I wanna say. Um, then I picked up this leather jacket. It is by Yvonne Marie, and I do think it might be vintage also. Um, and this is lamb's leather, so it's super buttery soft, and it's kind of like, not really a moto style jacket, it's more so like a blazer style jacket, because it doesn't have a collar. Um, it does have like the front zip, but this one does have quite a bit of, um, I don't want to say damage, but it's like super dry. So it definitely does need some leather conditioner. Um, and if y'all can see, I don't know if it's going to come up good. Usually black is a hard color to show on camera. Um, it's super dry in some areas, but I thought it was still... A great pickup for I think jackets were three dollars so I thought it was a great pickup for three dollars especially um, a lambs leather jacket so even if I sell it for like 20 to 25 dollars it's still a, a decent profit but I'm not sure how much that one is gonna sell for um, I would say maybe like about 40 bucks because it does have a lot of um, wear on it and then I picked up this little vintage um, plaid uh like pleated schoolgirl skirt uh it comes to the knee so it's not quite mini but i thought this was super cute this one 
would be super cute with some um, leggings or stockings, some boots in the fall, maybe that orange vest paired up with like a long sleeve, um, the long sleeve uh, turtleneck. I thought that would be super cute. And this one was brand new with tags. Well, it's not brand new because it is vintage, so it's dead stock. It came with like vintage TJ Maxx tags, so I thought that was funny, but I cut those off. Uh, the brand is Quality Goods BCW, 100% cotton in a size 12. And yeah, it does look like it actually might be a size 12. Usually with some of these vintage um, items, the sizing is a little bit smaller than modern day, modern day sizing. Um, so yeah, I thought that was super cute. Hopefully it does do well. Um, then I picked up this, actually I don't think this one's vintage, but Peck and Peck Cashmere. So another cashmere, um, top this one just says two ply so i'm not sure if this is like a lower quality cashmere um it does have like some silver detailing around the neck and the sleeves um this one once again is super soft this one does have um a couple of holes i think there was like some super small holes somewhere on this. I can't remember where, but um, if this one doesn't sell, I might just end up keeping it and wearing it myself. Um, the holes weren't really that noticeable, but um, yeah, I guess I'll see how that one does. Uh, the next item has to be one of my favorite pieces. Um, I might have to put like insert a picture because I'm not sure how great this is going to show up on the hanger but it's this vintage sequin um, and velvet jumpsuit so it's se sequins on the top um, it does have shoulder pads but I'm thinking you can remove those I think you can just cut those out it has this belt um, or what looks like supposed to be like a belt like a waistband and it has like this flower I'm not a huge fan of this a uh, little flower here but I do really love this piece and the pants uh, the pant part are velvet and they're like a little bit of a wide leg and I just thought that this was so gorgeous I think it was only a dollar which is insane and the brand is Caché by Berry Protest so I know Caché um, can or does have kind of bit of a following so I'm hoping that this one does really good I just love it I could see it for like I mean even maybe Halloween or no maybe more like a New Year's um, outfit or I don't know maybe like I don't know I don't know where to wear it to but I do know that I do love it and um, I was talking to my sister she's not a reseller I sent it to her and I was like look at this amazing little vintage jumpsuit I found and she was like oh that's hideous no one my age would ever wear that and she's um, about like seven years younger than me <laughs> so um, I was like how how dare you this is such a gorgeous piece um, you don't know fashion you don't know anything and she was like no Alex you're totally wrong no one in their right mind is gonna wear this and watch just you watch uh, this is going to sell I don't know maybe 40 to 50 bucks I'll have to see if there's like any comps to look up and I will definitely be sending her the screenshot of when it sells someone is gonna be very happy uh, so I picked up this little vintage Texas shirt it has like this uh, sunflowers and blue bonnets and whatever that pink flower is on it embroidered um, it is just by the brand marina I think it's a size medium it looks a little bit small actually and it's a little bit washed out but somewhere someone would want this little vintage embroidered Texas shirt <laughs> so we'll see how that one does so I picked, I think I picked this one up at a thrift store for, I think it was only like $3. Um, Avenue, this one might be vintage, might not be. It is a plus size, 1820, but it is a crochet knit. Um, only has one button up here and the rest is open like a little shrug. And it does look like it might well, I don't know if it's quite cropped or not, but I had recently saw like 
um, a little YouTube short about shrugs or like similar things to these coming back out. I don't know. I think it was at like Forever 21 and Target. So, and that was before, like I picked this up before I saw that video. So this one would look super cute over a little, um, like a dress, one of those vintage, uh, floral dresses from the nineties. You can put this over top for like the fall season even though it is a little bit of short sleeve but um for like a light fall day some doc martens i think that would look super cute you could totally like grunge it down um and i do love that there's just one button and the rest is open so i do really love this hopefully it does good um, and I actually, when I picked this up, I wasn't sure about this one, but when I was taking pictures, it just photographed super good. And this sweater is just so pretty. I might have to see if I can fit it, um, and try it on to see how it looks. But it's, it's this, um, is this vintage? Um, this one might be vintage. Bobby Brooks, uh, ladies extra large. It's just hundred percent acrylic. Um, a knit sweater but it does have these really cool buttons these really cool gold buttons on it um, cardigan sweater it's that perfect oversized chunky knit sweater uh, the sleeves are just the right amount of like bagginess and I just think that this is so cute I'm not sure red for myself maybe like a deep green a blue a cream color i would prefer but this one is super pretty i do like it um i'm not sure i don't remember if i listed this one yet or not but i like that one a lot um and this one we'll just say this is a wild card because i was at the thrift store with my sister and she was like <laughs> on looking at the dresses and she was like alex look at this dress it's so pretty and i was and i was like from afar i was like okay it looks okay and then when i got up close i was like uh that looks a little bit different than what i was expecting so um it's just like a um sleeveless dress it kind of has like all this metallic um silver thread going through on this floral print and there's i don't think there's any slits definitely oh my gosh wow i just noticed that this has a huge hole in it right here so i'm not sure what i'm going to do now um i'm not even sure if i already listed it but i was going to say definitely like a maxi length um and uh i think it was like four dollars it was on sale vintage nightweight collections size 10 um, but she was telling me, she was like, oh, you should totally get that. It's so Olivia Rodrigo. Looks like something that she wore on her album cover and yada, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. But now that it has that huge hole in it, um, I don't know. Probably going to redonate it, I guess. And then it has like this, some damage right here. I did see this. I thought it was nothing, but that hole probably gonna have to redonate it um and then i picked this one up from a from a thrift store i think it was like three dollars i picked this up because i thought it was very um coquette or cottage core and it is a vintage gina peters silk angora rabbit hair and nylon blend so it has like some really great materials in there and it's super soft and it has all of these like little pearl flower details on there hopefully the camera's picking it up and it's like a creamy beige color um and it has like these I guess embroidered flowers on it I just thought it was super cute this super cute vest um I don't know though if it's technically for fall maybe more like spring from winter transitioning to spring since it's a little chilly but i'll still list it anyway um and i'll definitely use cottage core and coquette in there thought it was super cute nonetheless um another piece that i found at this church garage sale so it was huge inside the church they had a couple of racks with clothing on them and jackets then they had just like 
I don't know, maybe 10 tables piled of clothes. So you really had to dig through to see what was in there. Um, I had assumed that on the racks they had like the nicer quality stuff on there and then on the tables it was just like you know basic t-shirts and stuff like that and jeans um, but this one was on the table which um, is actually pretty funny it's uh, just Cavalli I'm pretty sure that this uh, might be vintage just Cavalli definitely you know like a higher end designer um, and it is this little tank top or halter style tank top it has like this kind of crazy print um, like a metallic bottom definitely is giving me y2k vibes um, so um, just Cavalli I did sell a skirt I think it only sold for like $25 this one is just uh, I don't know actually I don't know it's not silk I don't know what the material is but uh, like I said it was only a dollar so I did pick that up and the last clothing item and I forgot to do the shoes but we'll do the shoes after the last clothing item I got is this vintage Spencer Alexis little boho kind of like a whimsy goth um, blouse this one does have um, shoulder pads but I think they're removable um, if not you can always just cut them out but I thought this was very <laughs> Phoebe Buffet from Friends it has like these wide sleeves and it has like some embroidered flowers on the sleeves and it has like these little flower um, details right here for like the buttons and like a little bit of sequins right there it is like open so it only has one button it's super deep v-neck and I just thought this was cute like it definitely reminds me of Phoebe Buffet from Friends or Whimsy Goth or um boho so hopefully that does good i think that was like three dollars at the thrift store so um let me get to the shoes there's only a couple pairs here um so i forgot i did go to the thrift store a little while ago and just picked up a bunch of shoes because they had a bunch of shoes out that were really good and they were putting out more so i picked up these rothy's they are the camouflage blue camouflage print they're kind of beat up um they're not in the best condition but they were only like I think she charged me like four dollars for these and uh they do have like a it's not yet a hole but it's like a little tear right there so I picked these up these are size eight and a half um, I picked up these free people velvet block hill um I guess it's kind of like a Mary Jane or T-Strap Hill. I thought these were super cute. I don't typically pick up a whole lot of free people anymore just because the comps are like hit and miss. Some things do good, some things don't. But I thought these would be great for the winter time because it's velvet. It's like an electric or cobalt blue. It has like a almond shaped toe. The buckle is like crystal encrusted and i just thought these were super cute i don't remember how much these were maybe like five dollars they're size 38 and yeah and i picked these little flats up i know flats are coming back i'm not sure if i'm gonna hop on this trend because i wore flats to death back in the day so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be picking up any flats anytime soon for myself but i did pick these up they're black and they have like all these crystals all over them and they are Giuseppe Zanotti um, which is crazy because I, I don't think I've ever sold or found Giuseppe shoes um, when I saw these I kind of like flipped out because I was like oh my gosh these are crazy and they were like four or five dollars but comps really aren't that great I think they were like 40 to 50 bucks but if it was four to five dollars 40 to 50 bucks is still good but I was thinking that they were gonna be like you know a crazy high price and I also found have I even did this already have I even showed y'all these shoes I feel like I've showed y'all these I don't know let's just continue if I showed them to y'all y'all can skip ahead or something I don't know because I feel like I have shown y'all these shoes but I picked up these blue leather shoes they are woman by common projects made in Italy I did haul some of these um, 
couple months ago they were green and they were the men's version these are like a perforated uh sneaker still the same type of style uh the white part is a little dirty but i mean it's okay still if these fit me i'd probably keep them but i think they're oh yeah they're size 38 so i found out that the middle is the size um and these other two numbers were like the style and i don't remember what else something like that but these were like seven bucks or something so I couldn't leave these behind the last mints sold like 70 to 80 bucks I think um, so that's what I'll sell these for probably I found these little faded vintage faded glory um, sandals they're actually in really great condition they almost look new I remember I had some that looked very similar to this um, in middle school or high school I don't know or both uh, these are called the Lorinda sandals. They're a size nine. I'm pretty sure I could probably fit these. I wear a nine and a half, but I don't know. I don't think these are my stuff anymore. I had the other ones that were like, uh, that had like a circle in the middle and it had like a flower design, but these are not my favorite, <laughs> but these should do pretty good. I'll have to look up comps. Um, I saw someone on Depop selling similar ones I think it was like the floral ones but I think it was like a little bit of a platform for like $200 I'm not sure if these comps are accurate so I'll have to do some more research these were like four bucks so that's still a good deal even though we're moving into fall winter I'll still pick up these sandals because these if they don't sell now they would sell in the summertime because people do like like these vintage faded glory ones um and then um the same thrift store that i picked up the giuseppe zanotti's and the um rothy's and i picked up i feel like i saw some other designer brands there but they were just like too beat up there were some prada shoes there but they were like super beat up and had a hole in them and then i came across these so these are fendi mules um and they smell like leather they're super soft like leather they came in plastic wrap um, and then they have like this little film or sticky part on the bottom they have this engraved can you see that let's see and this is what this looks like so if you can see this is super crooked it's not the crispiest uh, Fendi logo but I went ahead and took a chance it was like four or five dollars uh, so yeah these ended up not being authentic so I don't know what I'm gonna do with these now um, I have no idea what maybe redonate them they do say size 41 and I'm a nine and a half but these are just like a tad too small and honestly I don't even know if I would wear these these are not really my style so yeah fake Fendi's pair of boots or shoes that I found are these they are lace-up combat leather boots uh, definitely giving me um, zombie apocalypse vibes walking dead um resident evil vibes i wish i could find some in my size but sadly these are a size 36 right or are they 36 or size 6 yeah 36 size 6 and these are by the brand bed stew which i still do like picking up bed stew um i don't know I think it's been a while since I picked up some boots from Bed Stew, but these should still do pretty good. Um, they're a little bit dusty, but I'll have to do comps. I'm gonna say conservatively $50, but they might bring in a little bit more. I just don't know because they are really small and these were only eight dollars which is crazy because this thrift store that i found these usually like surprise up their boots at least like 12 to 15 dollars and um these were only seven dollars <laughs> which is crazy but yeah i'll have to do comps and research these to get an accurate um comp for for sold comps 
I did get these a couple weeks ago. I don't know if I hauled them. I got them for myself, so maybe I didn't. But these are just some Zara square toe platform lace up um, sandals. I don't think these are leather. Um, these are size 40. I don't, they say made in Morocco. I don't think they're leather. They might be, but here's the bottom. They're super worn on the bottom, but like the actual sandal is fine. So I wore these for the first time the other day and nope, just gonna be a nope for me. They're super stiff. Um, and I can't really walk in them. Like this part hurts my leg and I couldn't really keep up with my husband and he walks super fast always. So this is gonna be a no. So if anyone's interested, I'll have them listed. Um, but yeah, I don't know how well these are gonna do or what like the, um, the name is of these. So I'll probably have to do like a Google image search and see and check comps um i think they were like four dollars or something so it wasn't too big of an investment but um that's why i like going to thrift stores for my personal style because i can try out styles like this and not feel guilty if i spend like 30 or 40 or 50 dollars on a style like this and not actually use it um so yeah well that is the end of my haul guys i hope y'all enjoyed it um i did pick up quite a few pieces here and i have another bag full over there in front of me so i'll probably do another haul next week um and show y'all everything else that i got so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed already and drop a comment below letting me know what was your favorite item that i picked up do you like this new setup that I have um, or would you prefer me sitting down um, let me know because I know it's in a little corner so it's not a huge space like I normally used to have um, and yeah I guess I'll catch y'all in the next video bye guys